we're back. Woo! It's Miss Tasha YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that button, hit that button, hit that button. We have so many things coming up. Of course, we are in the middle of a quarantine, but we don't have to feel like we're in the middle of a quarantine. I have so many things that I will share with you that's going to make you laugh, make you cry maybe, you know, give some insight. A little bit of everything. We're just going to become friends. All right? So, today for this show, we are talking about entrepreneurship. It is one of my favorite things, one of my passions, one of my gifts. And I love to support new business owners, independent business owners, independent artists, whatever it is that you're doing. I love to support you, give you all of the things that I've learned through the years, all of the things that I'm still learning right now. Just want to share it with you. So thank you for tuning in to Miss Tasha. Let's get it. All right, guys. So here we are, entrepreneurship. I own two main businesses, um, which are Fritz Eyewear and Curve Athletics. And my husband and I together, we own a realty company and my husband actually owns a backline company. So we have several business entities that we work together and that each of us operate in separately, but all of it, of course, is under one roof or enterprise, you might call it. So today, we're gonna be talking about two of our businesses, and I just wanna share some things that may help you to launch out and create whatever you have been feeling like stirring in your belly, like, oh, I think maybe I wanna do that. Listen, it's always tied to your passion. There is something that you are passionate about that can really bring money into your house that can also help you to help others using that gift. And so we wanna make sure that we're helping to pull that out of you. So would you like to see some of our product? I think that was a yes. All right, so I'll start with Curve. I actually have on the Curve Athletic Bomber Jacket that comes with a jogger. Um, Curve Athletics started, oh man, it's going on three years now. It's been two years ago. I started Curve Athletics because this is a very true story. Um, Ivy Park had just come out by the incredible Beyonce. It had just come out and they would release their new products at midnight, right? And so they only had a small amount of plus size pieces that they were released at midnight. And I would literally sit up and wait um, at midnight so I could get this extra large 2X pieces and every single time I would miss them. And so I was like, I'm gonna start my own athletic wear. Now it was kind of a joke, but kind of not. Like everybody who knows me will tell you, if I say something, I'm pretty 80% serious, 90% serious. And so I said, I'm gonna start my own athletic wear line. Now, you know, at the time, all of these other huge names, they had plus size pieces, but it wasn't like a big deal. I wanted to create like plus size athletic wear, athleisure wear for plus size women that would fit right, operate like it was supposed to operate, right, be functional, the tights not roll down, that's a huge deal for me. And so I went into like study mode. I started studying. What are the things that bothers plus size women the most about athletic wear? What are the things that are most embarrassing if you're in a gym and it happens to you with your athletic wear? One of the main things was the tights rolling down, sliding down, having gaps. It's very uncomfortable when you're trying to work out. You got to keep pulling your pants up or trying to walk through the airport. You got to stop to pull your pants up. And so... I started studying um, to figure out how can I design a garment or a piece that we didn't have to do that no more. And that's what I did. So that was, man, almost four years ago I started doing that research. And now Curve has absolutely blown my mind. It's grown into something absolutely amazing that plus size women all over the world are loving. And I love 
that they are so excited about their pieces. So we have um, these joggers. We designed these for the first time this year and it has been absolutely amazing. We did it for both men and women. So what I did is I launched a men, uh, like a men section of Curve. It's called Brawn. That's B-R-A-W-N. Ron. Um, and so we released joggers for men. We we're working on something really special for men that should be out very, very soon. I cannot wait to tell you about it. Um, but we just did some things for plus size men as well, plus size women. Um, we have some of the t-shirts. These are some of our garments that we have. These t-shirts are absolutely amazing for working out. Some of my smaller girls, who I call them slim, thick, they started getting a little upset with me. So I actually went down to a size small or down to a size large depending on some of the garments. So this is one of our large um, tees. The, the, the fabric is just so amazing. It's kind of off the shoulder where you can wear it um, for fashion purposes as well as your workout. And it's very, very comfortable. Um, it is designed where it does not hold moisture. So if you're sweating in it, it's not gonna get smelly, all that kind of stuff. And you can wear it for your workouts. We have some of our tights here. We have some new product that is coming out probably next week that I'm so excited about. Joy is in here. Joy, can you hold, show, um, hand me the new product? So these are some of our tights. These go down to a size small, which which fits like um, a four six. So if you're size four six, you're watching this. We got some curved stuff for you, my slim, my slim thick girls. Now. Um, oh, here's some of our new pieces. So this is the brown set. It's like tight and a sports bra. It's a sports bra with a hood. OMG. The sports bra is incredible. When I tell you it holds you in and you don't have to wear another sports bra with it, I am big on that. I've been trying to figure it out and I think we got it this time. Shout out to the manufacturers. They did it amazing job designing this exactly like I wanted it look at that that is so cute so these come out in another week or so um but one of the things that really shifted curve athletics throw that down there curve athletics was our waist trainers so our waist trainers have been a huge 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 hit um, we have so many amazing testimonies from people who wear them. I suggest that you just wear them every day. Put it on for like an hour. Even if you're not working out, they work very well if you're working out. They are fitted. They are extremely fitted. So I suggest when you first start with them to go up either a size or two. But they are incredible. They come in different colors. And so we just hit. Sometimes business owners will tell you, you just got to keep exploring until you hit that thing that works for you and when curve um, introduced our waist trainers the blessing that hit this business was just incredible so we'll always make sure we provide amazing waist trainers for our ladies and gents coming up and we have of course our curve mask we live in a different world right now um, we have to wear a mask. We're going to make the best of it. We're going to be happy about it. We're going to walk in joy. But we're also going to wear our mask. All right? So Curve also has masks. Um, one of my babies, this is another one of my babies, Fritz Eyewear. I talk about it all the time. I love eyewear. I love eyewear. My family loves eyewear. And so I, you're going to hear me often talk about my father. He was the best. Anyway, so I wanted to do something to honor his legacy. And I was just thinking one night, literally, this is how this happened. I was laying in the bed thinking, how can I honor my father? I was thinking about his name. And I was like, hmm, I'll start an eyewear line. Just like that. Start an eyewear line is something I'm passionate about. I love fashion. And so we released Fritz Eyewear um, in 2018. And Fritz Eyewear was not as easy as Curve. I'll just be honest about that. I ran into some hurdles. Um, I ran into some obstacles that I never had to deal with when starting a business. Some challenges um, that I had to walk through. Hard decisions that had to be made in order to cover what God had instructed me to do. And sometimes you have to make hard decisions. Um, and that was one of the decisions, things that I had to go through with Fritz Eyewear. But we are back. We are back strong. Um, I am loving to see the eyewear on everybody. I'm going to show you a few of the frames right now. 
it's just really fun. It's really fun. It's hard work, but it is fun. And I'm going to leave you with some points to help you pull off whatever you believe that you are called to do. Start your, start, start a little business, whatever it takes. You know, don't walk in fear. You got to walk in faith and believe in yourself. Believe that God is going to be with you every step of the way. So these are our number one sellers. These are the Quita frames. They are named after my cousin, Quita Lockley, who is a producer, a screen, screenwriter. She is everything. And uh, she's a huge influence in my life. And so I honored her with these pair of glasses. At this point, she doesn't want anybody else to have them because she loves them so much. But that's not happening. These are the Quita frames. Great seller. These are the toddies. These are some of my favorites. You can wear these in like every day period. It's an everyday frame. These are the green ones. They also come in red. Um, the Quitas come in several, di several different colors too. You can get these at fritzeyewear.com and then these are named after my mother-in-law. The Sarah's. These are like the coolest. Everybody loves these shades. <sighs> yeah. The drama is real. Alright. So what do I want to tell you before we go? I'm not going to hold you very long. So, a couple of points. The first thing you have to do is believe. You got to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe that you're called to do this. Believe that God is never going to leave you. Believe that your faith, um, the seeds that you sow, be it uh, financial seeds or seeds of service, they will come back to you 100-fold. Um, you got to believe in yourself. Believe that you can do this. Believe that it's not too hard for you. That you are equipped to do what you feel you are called to do. You got to believe in your purpose. That's the first thing. So all entrepreneurs, if you believe that you're called to do anything outside of this box that people want us to live in, you got to believe in yourself. Even when others don't believe in you, you got to believe in you. So that's the first one. Number two is determination. It requires determination. You got to hang in there. Like, <laughs> you got to hang in there even when it gets hard. It's not always easy. Finding manufacturers, finding people who will design it the way that you want to design it. Finding people who, like one of my friends, um, Shayna Wilson has one of the most amazing cosmetic lines like her lip glosses and everything and I remember for years she sought to do this she did the work she put it in she was determined no matter how hard it was she tells a story about how she and her husband like cleared out their savings account listen you got to believe in yourself you got to be determined it requires it requires um willpower it requires discipline because starting a business you gotta have some startup money let's just be honest and it has to come from somewhere so you gotta manage very well can't be out buying all the gucci buying the louis buying all of this stuff you gotta figure out how can i save up enough money to get this business off the ground determination somebody say that determination all right what is the third one the third one is do the work oh you gotta do the work you gotta put the work in listen nobody else somebody told me years ago nobody is gonna carry your baby like you would carry your baby to this day i get myself up and my whole team will tell you i will go up there and i'm gonna box I'm going to do shipments, whatever it takes to get these businesses bumping and get them off the ground and get people their product in excellence. You got to do the work. Nobody else is going to carry your baby like you carry your baby. And do it in excellence. Branding is everything. You know, people will buy your stuff just because your flyers look incredible. Find someone who will design, create a, help you design a brand that makes your company look like the best thing they ever seen. And you walk that thing out, and when people get their product, the boxes need to, and it's not expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just needs to represent your brand very well. Excellence is not always expensive. Ooh, write that down. Excellence, however you spell it, is not always <laughs> expensive. 
gonna have my screaming. It's not always expensive. Get you some ribbon, something that looks nice, and make your brand work. You do the work. You get up and do it. Sometimes it requires staying up all night, studying, finding stuff on Google, wherever you gotta go. You put the work in. You can do this. I believe in you. All right? Get out. Get up. Go do the work. First, get up. Work out. Do your, say your prayers. Thank the Lord for another day. And then go do the work. All right. Thank you for tuning in. This is Miss Tasha. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.